Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to try out a bunch of new Wet n Wild products that I purchased at the drugstore. I'm so excited to show you everything that I got. And I haven't tried anything out yet, so I don't know how it's going to work or how it's going to look, if it's pigmented, if it's not. I'm just going to try out these products on camera for you and see if I like them and let you know my opinion on them. So if you want to see all the Wet n Wild products that I picked up at the drugstore, please keep on watching. Alright, so as you can tell, I already have my foundation and my eyebrows on and a little bit of concealer. So I didn't buy an eyebrow product or foundation or concealer, but everything else I have. So let's get started with the eyes. I picked up two of the new Wet n Wild palettes at Walmart. These are only exclusive for Walmart, so, so these palettes, you can only find them at Walmart, and they're very, very pretty. I, As soon as I saw them, I said, okay, this is definitely a dupe for the Naked palette. I don't know how good it is with pigmentation because I haven't tried it or swatched it, but this one looks a lot like the Naked 3 also. So, but I think they look so pretty and I feel like they're going to be very pigmented because if anyone knows, the Wet n Wild eyeshadows are very, very, very pigmented and they're just amazing eyeshadows at the drugstore. So the, both of those palettes were only $5.98 I believe less than six dollars so, so I think that was a very good pricing for these palettes. They are cruelty free and they have a little bunny right there on the corner which I think is so cool because I've been really trying to find cruelty free makeup because you never know. You, sometimes you purchase things from the drugstore and they're not cruelty free. So all of Wet n Wild stuff is cruelty free so if anyone if anyone didn't know that, it is cruelty free, which is awesome. So I'm going to go in with both of these palettes. By the looks of it, they look so pretty, like so shimmery. And so here is the more warm, neutral shades. And this palette is in the shade Bare Necessities. So that's what it looks like. Now here is the more rosy palette. So you can see right here it comes with the little sponge applicator. And this is what this one looks like. So pretty. And this palette is in the shade Nude Awakening. Which I love this shade. This shade right here definitely caught my eye when I first saw this palette. I was like, oh yes, this burgundy shade is going to be on my eye as soon as I try this out. I think I'm going to start off with the Nude Awakening palette. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this shade right here. It's more of like a light brownie shade. I'm going to add this into my crease just as a transition shade. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the burgundy shade because I just really want to stick that in my eye. But it's this shade right here. It's so pretty. Now I'm going to grab this with a more dense eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick this in my crease. Blend that out. I love that shade. It's definitely going to be one of my favorites. So I'm just going to go in with this gold shade first with my finger from the Bare Necessities palette. And then I'm going to go in with this more rose gold shade from the Nude Awakening palette, which is this one right here. I'm going to add the gold shade in first. Okay, yeah, it's very pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with the more coppery shade. Okay, that's very pretty. I do. I also picked up by Wet n Wild is the Fine Lines Liquid Eyeliner marker 
It's a felt tip eyeliner. I used to have a huge, huge love for felt tip eyeliners, but after I started using the NYC liquid eyeliner, I kind of just stopped using those because I was so obsessed with the NYC one. So I'm excited to try this one out because maybe I'll have a new love for this eyeliner. I heard really good things about these eyeliners and how like pigmented they are. So that's the tip of it, which is very very pointy which I feel like this might help me have more control with my eyeliner oh okay I'll I'll clean that up later with a q-tip oh, okay so I, I like it so far look at that wing it really helps you get right into the tear duct of the eye because Sometimes it's really hard for me to get right in this area right here, and this is like so easy to use. Alright, so as you can tell, I went ahead and I added some false eyelashes. Okay, so yeah, I added that, and I think I want to add a little bit more of that burgundy shade from the... Um, Mood Awakening palette because I just love it so much and I want it to be a little bit deeper so I'm just gonna add a little bit of that onto my crease and I feel like this might be a perfect look for Valentine's Day so if you need a good um, affordable makeup look for Valentine's Day I definitely suggest those eyeshadow palettes especially the Nude Awakening one because it has a lot of those rosy shades and I feel like that just screams Valentine's Day. I feel like for the price, you can't go wrong with it, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the Bare Necessities palette and I'm gonna grab this shade right here. I'm gonna add that one to my brow bone. Now, if you want to get like super like boom pigmentation from these eyeshadow palettes, I would suggest you um, wet your brush before you use them because they, these will be like super metallic if you wet your brush. So I'm going to go ahead and add that shade onto my uh, inner corner. So I will be coming back to finish the eyes later. Alright, so now let's just move on to the face. So another exciting thing that I saw at Walmart, and I think this might be only exclusive to Walmart also, but I picked up the... Wet n Wild Dual and did contouring stick. I got the shade medium tan because the light one, I don't remember what it was called, but it was the lighter shade from this. It looked a little bit too cool, like cool tone for my skin. So um, I decided to get this one. And this one retailed for about $4.98 around there. I will have the um, prices listed down below if you are interested in that. So I was so intrigued because look at it. It looks just like the NYX one, and I've never tried the NYX um, touring stick, so, and it looks really nice. The packaging is very, very, very nice, and you can definitely carry this around with you. So here's the highlight end to the stick, and it looks a little bit too light, but I'll try to have a light hand on this, because I really like my, um... Uh, under eyes to have a yellow undertone and this is not a yellow undertone. It's really really light So we'll see how I can work with that, but the contouring side looks really nice This is what it looks like. It's very warm. So if you're a light complexion from my skin tone I would suggest you get the shade down from this because it looks really nice And I feel like the cool tones look a lot better on lighter skin tones than than my skin tone if you know what I'm saying so um yeah, let's go in with this. So I want to start highlighting first. You can see that. Alright, so it's not like super harsh. Add this on my nose also. It's very creamy. On my cupid's bow. On my chin and on my forehead. Now my forehead is extremely dry so I don't know how good it's going to blend out there but we will see. Okay so that's as much as I want to highlight. Alright and I'm going to start contouring.
right here along my um, jawline, my non-existent jawline. <laughs> I'm just gonna make a little mark right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with my beauty blender. Because honestly, when I add stuff like this, I like to blend it out with a beauty blender more than I like blending it out with a brush. Because I feel like the brush leaves a lot of streak marks. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my, um, not my beauty blender, my Real Techniques blending sponge. Really easy to blend out. I was really afraid that this formula was going to be really tough to blend out, but it's actually really nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys, this is like super easy to blend out. super impressed with this contouring it's not too harsh which is awesome because for beginners if you get like a really pigmented contouring shade from a stick a foundation stick a concealer or something those can be really really harsh and you it can probably be hard for you to blend it out but with that I feel like that'll be so good for like everybody who has been having a hard time contouring with cream products that is so easy to blend out and I'm like super, like it looks really nice. I'm so impressed with it. I like this a lot. Alright, so the next thing I picked up was the Wen Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is in the shade Caramel Toffee. This is the reformulated one. I do have the old Caramel Toffee and it's a lot more cool toned and it doesn't have this really nice yellow uh, powder. So I was so excited to find this because I love my yellow powders for setting my under eye concealers and oh, this looks so nice and so pretty it's like speaking to my soul right now all right so i'm just going to go ahead and grab the yellow shade from the palette and i'm going to set my under eyes with this now it's extremely pigmented i barely tapped my brush in i got a lot a lot of powder on there so just tap off the excess if you think it's too much and just set it. I like to look up while I'm setting my under eye concealer because it, it will really get into those uh, those little wrinkles that really make your uh, concealer crease set down there. So just look up. And I'm just going to go ahead and set everywhere where I added that highlight just so it won't smear off or anything. It does look um, brightening. Now I'm just going to go ahead and grab the um, contouring side. Just to set the contour that I did with the stick. So I'm just going to add that. And I just want to grab a little bit of this because honestly the contour looks so nice. And I don't want it to be super dark. Okay looks really nice it doesn't look like it's adding too much color nice so I like this I like it a lot now on to the next so I picked up a lot of blushes. Alright, so I picked these two up at um, Walmart. I picked up Rose Champagne and Apricot in the Middle. So this is Apricot in the Middle and Ro Rose Champagne. They're so pretty, but I also went to Target because I wanted to pick up one of their ombre blushes. And I picked up Mai Tai Buy You a Drink. That's what it looks like. You can't really tell that it's like a super ombre. So I don't know which one I want to use. I think I want to use apricot in the middle, honestly. All right. All right, so here is apricot in the middle. It's so pretty. And 
I'm so into the apricot shades right now. Look at how pretty this looks. Okay, comes with a brush. That's what it looks like, and it has a really, really pretty shimmer. So I'm just gonna swatch this. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna grab my blush brush and apply this on the apples of my cheeks. This might also make a really pretty highlight shade because it looks a little bit too light. Look at that. It's so pretty. So I'll just swatch. Oh yeah, look at that. That'll make a beautiful highlight shade. But I actually have another highlight that I've been wanting to use, which is the Catwalk Pink palette. I've been wanting to try this out for a while. I only swatched it if you watched my haul, you saw me swatch it in that video. But yeah, I only swatched it. I haven't tried it out, so I want to try it out today. I'm just going to add this onto my cheekbones. So I'm just going to swirl, swirl it all together, okay? Ugh. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. I don't know if we can do that. Probably can't. this shade so this is my Thai by you drink ombre blush it's supposed to be a blush but I'm gonna use it as a highlight because I think it's really light for a blush so I'm gonna just grab the lightest shade because you know how it's ombre it's darker from this side and lighter on that side so I'm gonna grab the lightest side I'm gonna also pack that on okay so that looks really pretty okay so it looks so nice I'm so impressed with all the products but now I'm going to finish off the rest of my eyes so I'm just gonna go ahead and use just this palette to finish off my eyes first I'm gonna add the light gray shade this one right here I'm gonna add that along my lower lashes or lower lash line I should say Just a little bit of that shade, just to help the other one blend out a little better. And then I'm going to apply that burgundy shade. Now you want to be careful with that because that's really pigmented. Now, okay, I'm going to add... Hey, I'm going to go into this palette. I'm going to grab that gold shade and add that on my inner corner area. Okay, now I'm going to add some mascara. And some eyeliner. want to use today was the Wet n Wild Mega Last um, liquid lipstick in the shade High Pitched Wine and this one looks so much like uh, Kat Von D's Lolita so I do have Kat Von D's Lolita and it looks very 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 similar to that one. I'm just going to go ahead and add some lip liner. I'm also using the Wet n Wild Color Icon lip liner in the shade Chestnut. So, so far I love how everything looks. It looks really nice and flawless and I'm very, very impressed with each and every one of these products. Honestly, I think I don't have one bad thing to say about any of these products. So if you go to Walmart and you see any of these products out, snatch them because I picked up those eyeshadow palettes like three or four days ago and I went back yesterday just to check it out again at Walmart everything was sold out even the contour sticks and the palettes so those sell out quick go and get your hands on those I will have all the 
prices and the names of each single product that I use today in the down bar below so don't forget to check that out I also have social media so follow me on my Twitter Instagram Facebook I also have a snapchat so don't forget to follow me on snapchat and yeah so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me comment if you've tried any of these products down below and that if you like them and uh yeah give this video a thumbs up comment like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye